A quick internet search for severe weather supply kit will return dozens of lists of dozens of items that you could include in your family's storm shelter or safe place. While these lists are great for winter weather or civil emergencies, tornado and severe thunderstorm warnings are generally very short. You're only going to need to take shelter for minutes or hours. So we're going shopping at Easton's Ace to show you the most important items to include in your family's severe weather kit. We start with an absolute must-have for any home or storm shelter, a battery-powered radio or weather radio. You know you can count on the Skywarn 7 weather team to give you updates when life-threatening weather is moving in, but what if your safe place doesn't have a TV? Or what if the severe weather occurs in the middle of the night when you're sleeping, or if the power goes out? A NOAA All Hazards Weather Radio gives you a direct link to watches and warnings from the National Weather Service, and some models can even be set to wake you up in the middle of the night. And also, don't forget, Cameron University's public radio station, KCCU-FM, simulcasts the audio from our Skywarn 7 severe weather updates. Another important item that will really come in handy is a flashlight. If your severe weather safe place doesn't have a light or if your power goes out, this will keep you from staying in the dark. Of course, with both the radio and the flashlight, don't forget to have a fresh supply of batteries on hand. You should change those batteries every 6 to 12 months. One really neat item we found here was an emergency radio and flashlight set, which includes an AM, FM weather radio and a flashlight, and they don't even need batteries. You operate them using a hand crank. As I mentioned before, when a tornado warning is issued, you'll only be seeking shelter for a matter of minutes or hours. It's still very important, though, to keep everyone calm and comfortable. So you want to have on hand a bottle of water and a small snack for each person in your family. Last but certainly not least, you'll definitely want to have a basic first aid kit in your family's safe place. There are many different sizes and types to choose from, or you can put one together yourself. We would recommend at least having supplies to treat minor cuts and scrapes, and it would be a very good idea to include any emergency medication your family may require, such as EpiPens or inhalers. also want a blanket or tarp to sit on and also keep you warm and dry and you might consider an air horn or whistle in the unlikely event that you become trapped under debris and need to be rescued. My entire shopping trip here today totaled about $50 which is a small and reasonable price to pay to be prepared when severe weather hits home.